Hello there, and welcome back to a brand new video. Now, today we've got the integral of 1 over the fourth root of x to the power 4 plus 1 dx. Now, rumor has it that Euler actually took one look at this integral, um, passed out, and then died. So, RIP Euler, you would have loved Chapel Roan. Anyway, so to begin, we're going to be doing a u substitution. I think that's the best way to approach this integral. It's the best way that I've found. Um, and that substitution that we're going to do is u equals the fourth root of x to the power 4 plus 1 over x like this. Now, we currently don't have that x in the integrand, so we need to make it. We need to, we need to introduce it. So we're going to change our integral to the integral of x over x times the fourth root of x to the power of 4 plus 1 dx. Because now, when we implement our substitution, what we're going to get is we're going to get the integral of 1 over x u like this, um, dx, of course. Now, we need to deal with that dx right here. Um, by differentiating the substitution uh, u. So let's do that. Okay, so we've got this to differentiate. Now, um, we're going to use the quotient rule because we've got two things being divided by each other. So our u here, um, not this is the u for the quotient rule, um, I must add, is going to be x to the power of 4 plus 1 to the power of a quarter. And our v is going to be x. So when we differentiate u, we get d u or u dash being a quarter times the derivative inside the brackets, which is going to be 4x cubed, times by the brackets, x to the power of 4 plus 1, but with um, 1 taken away from the power, so negative 3 over 4, like so. Now differentiating v, we get v dash equals 1. Fairly self-explanatory, fairly simple. So applying the quotient um, rule formula, we're going to do v times du dx. Now, let's just notice that we can cancel a quarter here uh, and that 4. So when we do v times du dx, so v times all of this, we're going to get x to the power of 4 times x to the power of 4 plus 1 to the power of negative 3 over 4. And then we take away uh, u times the derivative of v. So u times the derivative of v. So that's just going to be x to the power of 4 plus 1 to the power of a quarter, and then we divide by v squared, so we divide by x squared. So cool, we have found the derivative. Now we can simplify it a bit, we can, we can, we can sort it out. So we can say that du is equal to, and if we separate the, the fraction up here, so we do this, <clears throat> take away this, um, what we get is we get uh, x squared over x to the power of 4 plus 1 to the power of 3 quarters, take away x to the power of 4 plus 1 to the power of a quarter over x squared dx, and then um, rearranging for dx, because that is what we wanted up here, um, we're just going to get that dx equals du divided by the entire thing, like so. So let's go ahead and um, substitute this back into the integral. So this is going to become the integral of 1 over x u times by du over x squared over x to the 4 plus 1 to the power of 3 quarters. Take away x to the power of 4 plus 1 over x squared, um, like so. Okay, so this is our new integral. Now, we need to notice something, okay? Um, what was our original substitution? Well, our original substitution was u equals... Oh, sorry, there's supposed to be a quarter there. Um, u equals um, x to the power of 4 plus 1 to the power of a quarter over x. Now, that is very similar to what we have here. However, we have an x squared in the denominator. And so if we were to times this by x, we would have exactly what we wanted um, for to replace this here. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to get the integral of 1 over x u times by du over x squared over x to the power of 4 plus 1 to the power of 3 quarters. Take away u over x, like that. Um, okay, now we can do a very similar thing with this. Now, um, 
looking at our substitution, um, our, our u equals um, x to the power of 4 plus 1 to the power of a quarter over x, well, the way we can relate that to what we've got here would be if we were to cube u and then um, divide it by x. So that's exactly what we're going to do. So we're going to have the integral of 1 over x u times by du over the cube of u over x minus u over x, like so. Okay, this simplifies quite nicely. We can then say we've got the integral of 1 over x u times by du over, um, and this is going to be u to the power of 3 minus u all over x. Now, hopefully you can see that this x here and this x here are going to cancel out. And so what we get is we get the integral of 1 over u times by du over u cubed minus u, which of course gives us the integral of du over u to the power of 4 minus u squared. Now, how do we deal with this integral right here? Well, we've got to sort out that, that denominator. Now, we can notice that this... Uh, this format, this form that these are in, is the difference of two squares. Now, let's just refresh on what the difference of two squares is. That's where we, if we've got a squared minus b squared, it can be rewritten as a plus b times a minus b, like so. Um, so that's exactly what we've got. So we can change this to the integral of du over, and well, what's it going to be? It's going to be u squared plus 1 times u squared minus 1 like so. But then we've got a difference of two squares again right there. So let's apply it again. So this is now going to equal the integral of du over u squared plus 1, u plus 1, u minus 1, like that. Okay, now we are going to use um, uh, uh, partial fractions to, or partial fraction decomposition to sort this out. Okay, so here I have set up the partial fraction decomposition. So what we're going to do is we're going to times the entire right-hand side by the denominator of this fraction here. Okay, so that's going to give us 1 is equivalent to au plus b times u plus 1, u minus 1, plus c, u squared plus 1, u minus 1, plus d, u squared plus 1, u plus 1, like so. Um, okay, now we're going to set different values of u so that we can find these missing letters, a, b, c, and d. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to try and make some of these um, brackets 0. So if we were to make this bracket here 0, the u minus 1, well, u would have to be 1 for that to be true. We're going to say let u equal 1. Okay, and so we're going to have 1 equals, and uh, this... Um, this section here is going to be 0 because we've got that um, 1 take away 1, so the entire thing is going to be 0. Um, likewise here, that bracket will turn to 0, so the whole thing will be 0. So the only thing we've got is, is the d term over there. So we've got d times by um, 1 squared plus 1, so that's 2, times by uh, 1 plus 1, which is, of course, 2. So this implies that d equals 1 quarter. Cool, so we found one of the... We found one of the letters. Let's do the same for the others. So um, we've got another bracket to, to make 0, this u plus 1. Then u would have to be minus 1 to make that 0. So we're going to say uh, let u equal minus 1. 1 equals, um, now, um, this is going to be 0, and this is going to be 0. So we're just going to have the c left. So we've got c. Um, 2 and then minus 2. So that implies that c is negative a quarter. Okay. Um, now we are going to um, set u equal to 0. So we're going to say let u equal 0. And that's going to give us 1 equals. Um, now that's going to be 0, that a. So we're not considering a. So we've just got b times by 1 uh, minus 1 plus c times by 1 minus 1 plus d 1 times 1. So we've got 1 equals negative b minus c plus d, like that. So rearranging for b, so b equals uh, d minus c minus 1. 
Okay, well, what was D? D was a quarter, so we've got a quarter minus, uh, and C was a quarter, uh, was negative a quarter, so that's going to be plus a quarter minus one. This implies that B equals negative a half. Okay, now I'm not going to get into it, but um, if you just expand and then um, fill in A, B, sorry, and you fill in B, C, and D, you can show that A is equal to zero. Okay, so A is zero. Okay, so rewriting our um, partial fraction, um, yeah, re rewriting our fraction even. So 1 over u squared plus 1 times u plus 1 times u minus 1. This, uh, we have shown this can be rewritten as minus 1 over 2 times u squared plus 1 minus 1 over 4 u plus 1 plus 1 over 4 u minus 1. Okay, so this is our new integral. Um, so let's just refresh on what we've just done. So we had the integral of this right here. And so we have changed that, that fraction into a bunch of easier fractions to work with. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to take the integral of all of these. Here we go. So if we um, do each of them one by one, so let's do the integral of this first. Um, now this is going to give us 1 over 4 times the natural log of u minus 1. This next term is going to give us negative 1 over 4 ln of u plus 1, like so. And then this final term over here, that's going to give us negative 1 over 2 arctan of u. That is a known integral result. And then, of course, don't forget, plus c. Um, right, OK. Now, all we've got to do is undo the substitution. So this will give us a quarter ln of, well, what was, what was our substitution? Well, it was the fourth root of x to the power 4 plus 1 over x. And then we've got that minus 1 there. And then we are going to minus a quarter ln of the fourth root of x to the power 4 plus 1 over x plus 1 this time. And then we've got minus 1 over 2 arctan of the fourth root of x to the power 4 plus 1 over x plus c, of course. And there we have it. There is the final answer. There is the result of this integral. And there we have it. I've just neatened up the in the solution a little bit. Um, but I hope you enjoyed that integral, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you want to see more, then please consider subscribing. And also, in a few uh, days or maybe a week, I will be releasing a video on how nuclear bombs work. So that is interesting. Anyway, um, yeah, love you lots. Bye.